missed you guys so much and I know you've missed me too I mean all of this awesomeness you've missed all of this sweetness <laughs> so I hope you've been fine yeah so on today's video I will be talking about delay and I will also share my experience with you guys so let's go right into it shall we A lot of us had a list of things that we would like to achieve in 2020, yeah? And it's already the third month. You're asking yourself questions. Am I sure I'll be able to achieve all of these stuff that I said I was going to achieve before 2020 ends? Like, I have not even started anything yet. You are stressing yourself. You are asking yourself too many questions. I just want to tell you to calm down that you will be fine okay you'll be fine yeah now I want to share uh, a little experience with you guys so I graduated in 2018 yeah and I was supposed to go for service October November I did my normal clearance like most of my course made me but when we got to the time where we we're supposed to check our names online for those that were going for service, my name was not there. So I was I was worried. I was asking myself too many questions. What did I do wrong? Why was my name not there? I was even feeling scared to an extent. So I had to go to school. So I went to school and I was told that I had some issues with my documents. Like, how? How is that even possible? I did everything that I was supposed to do. So, what was the problem? Now, I was feeling so emotional and frustrated. I even cried. Like, <laughs> thinking about it now just makes me laugh. Like, God, you were so fragile. But, it was how I was feeling then, so it's fine. When I graduated, I did a lot of things to keep myself busy, so I don't die of boredom. And there was this day I saw a post on a friend's WhatsApp status. So I tried to give it a try. It was about a class, a presenter's master's class, so I took the class. And at the end of the day, we are given opportunities to intern in any radio station not of our choice <laughs> like they will have to pair us to radio stations so yeah now the internship was supposed to start in November I had already told the facilitator of the class his name is Perry Tipoli. I call him my boss I already told him that I would be going for service so I would not be able to partake in the internship I was actually having second thoughts about it, but then I really needed to go for service to get my fingers crossed and went for clearance. Now, when I realized that my name was not out for those that were going for service October, November, I decided to call him. So I told him that I would not be going for service anymore, not in 2018. So if I could still go for the internship. So he said, yes, why not? So he gave me a number and I called. It was Mr. Victor Binawari, my other boss. I went to Radio Bayosa and God, it was such an amazing experience there. So the first day I went to Radio Bayosa with my colleague Zainab, my boss told us that being an OAP, an on air personality, is not about forming an accent, but it's about pronouncing the words correctly. And when you pronounce words correctly, automatically you sound different. And I was wow. Well, because sometimes I listen to the radio and I just I just have this feeling like, oh, this person is coming an accent. This is not the person sounds. So when he told me that stuff, like it really I really felt it because it was it was great. So after the class he told us to buy the Daniel Jones pronouncing dictionary. Right, it was going to help us that we, we can learn the right pronunciation of words 
and you know grow so after leaving the station i went straight to a literary bookshop and i got daniel and pronounced dictionary people of the world <laughs> when i got home i was just flipping through and checking some words that i i thought i knew how to pronounce i was amazed i was amazed there were words that i thought i have been pronouncing right but i was not we were actually wrong and i was like oh my god oh my god now there's one thing to actually know that this is the right pronunciation of this particular word and there is another to actually use it in your everyday life because there's some words i know the right pronunciation of but i sometimes when i'm talking i don't pronounce them correctly it's after when I've already pronounced the words the way I knew them before that I realized that oh no, that's not how to pronounce this reference to the words. I'm learning and <laughs> I think I'm actually seeing an improvement. <sighs> I just want to say thank you to Ibilaifa Igodo because it doesn't matter what start is that I actually saw that information about the presenter's master's class. And I also want to thank Perry Tsukoe, my boss. The facilitator of the presenter's master's class and my main orga, Mr. Victor Nawari. Thank you so much. That internship was like a major turning point in my life. Now, why am I bringing this? Why am I sharing this experience with you guys? It's because there are certain times in our lives that we will face one kind of delay or the other, but then you should not let that weigh you down and make you feel useless. Imagine. If I had not utilized the time that I was facing this delay in my life, if I had not made that call to actually go for that internship, I wouldn't have gotten the knowledge and experience I got at Radio by Alta. I just want to tell you guys that you should not worry too much. Do not stress yourself too much, okay? Please, I'm begging. I'm sure you know worrying does not change anything. Just give yourself time. And with time, you realize that the delay was actually a blessing in disguise. Okay, I, I, I feel like I'm sounding like a motivational speaker right now. I, no, that's, that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, relax, okay? I'm sure that you'll be able to achieve everything that you have planned to achieve in 2020. And even more. At the same time, even if you don't achieve everything that you've planned, you will achieve a whole lot that you will look at yourself and you'll be like, oh my God, I did a lot this year. Yes, that's the feeling you're going to have. So please, just relax, okay? And just know I love you and I don't want you to be stressing yourself too much. Hmm? Now, before I go, I would like to share my personal pictures with you guys. So, on the 5th of March this month, I ended my journey as a core member serving our dear nation, Nigeria. Pictures, enjoy, okay. Wait, is that me? Am I me? Is me I? <laughs> because I look totally different. But I was looking so beautiful. Thank you so much, Blessing George, for that amazing makeup. I look so good. Now, this is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope my experience will inspire you in some way. I just hope so. 
you can tell me how you face delay what you did during the time that you're facing a delay in your life in the comment section okay it will mean a whole lot to me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and come on i'll soon be your favorite girl so please subscribe okay hit that subscribe button people <laughs> don't forget to laugh hard and love more see you guys on thursday bye